I'm about ready to fine tune my tiny essay. <laughs> I am mad. <laughs> this one is, um, this one is wrong. It has a bad attenuator in it. And um, I'm going to try to get a replacement, but uh, there seems to be no quality control on these things. And in fact, it's such a simple test to have put into the um, self-calibration. I uh, should have caught this error. So I don't think there's any outgoing QA on these units. Um, there uh, is a very, very simple test to step through the attenuator and make sure the attenuator is working. In fact, most instruments step their attenuators and measure them um, and cal them out because uh, the uh, attenuators, you can't just trust at face value. You need to actually measure and have cal data for them. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be making any more videos on tiny SAs because this one is defective. And I don't know if the tests that I've done up to this point are worse than a good one or could be better than a good one. Um, anyway, you can tell that I'm very, very frustrated. And I really, really wanted this to be a great product. Uh, I really like it. I think it can be a great product. Um, it has some really, really bad growing pains right now. And I'm one of the victims of the growing pains. Uh, this was a pre-order unit, so it was one of the first ones out of manufacturing. I guess uh, buyer beware. Anyway, I encourage everybody to uh, make sure theirs are okay. So here's what you need to do. You need to hook up a known source that doesn't waver. And then you need to go into the uh, section of the attenuator and set it to manual. And then you need to step through 1 dB, 2 dB, 3 dB, 4 dB, 5 dB, all the way up to 32 dB. Step through all those steps. And the value that you read shouldn't change. The tiny SA should give you the same value. So if you have a minus 20 dBm signal, it doesn't matter what attenuator setting is set to, it should still read minus 20 until you hit the noise floor. But um, this one doesn't. So as I step the manual attenuator, uh, there's a 4 dB error uh, in those measurements as you step from one value to the next. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not sure how to proceed with any more videos for your guy, for you guys. I don't feel confident using this one uh, to do any more measurements. So, I think I'll go focus on other things. <laughs>